It's a true sign of the times. More and more pubs have closed down across Stoke-on-Trent as the first recession of the century hits the industry hard. The statistics are shocking. In 2009, pubs were closing across Britain at a rate of 52 a week, leading to 24,000 jobs being lost throughout the year, causing a loss of £254 million worth of tax. The latest figures reveal that the number of pubs closing each week has fallen from 52 to 39 across Britain. The government is addressing the issue by appointing Minister of Housing and Planning John Healy as Minister for Pubs. Councillor Brian Ward believes the slump in pub trading across Stoke-on-Trent isn't down to just a recession. The cheap booze is a big factor and in the decline in pubs. You can buy cans in a supermarket very cheaply now and let's say that's got to have a detrimental effect on the pub trade. Not all pubs have been damaged by the recession. Pam Rowland took over the White Star during the financial crisis and explains what's required to keep a pub in business. You need to be really good, you need to have a good pub, selling good products at the right price, friendly surroundings, um, and I think you can probably make it, we did. Well, there are success stories to prove that not all pubs have been badly affected by the economic downturn. The country is now out of recession and on the road to recovery. So maybe that boarded up pub near you will be back in business and pulling pints in the near future. Robert Trigg, Staffs Live, Stoke-on-Trent.